Okay. Looks like you've got a bit of rivalry going on out there. This is good. It gets people talking about you. Just make sure you outperform them, okay? Hi. Just letting you know that we've had the team's expectations through for the upcoming qualifying session. Welcome to Melbourne, we're qualifying for...
It's been coming for a while, this one. What an excellent win for Williams. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, I'd, I'd say it's just raw pace, plain and simple. I mean, we could sit here and talk about strategy all day, the overtaking, looking after the tyres. But at the end of it all, if you want to win, you need a package that's got the speed over everyone else. And that's exactly what they had today. Oh, here they are now. I always love seeing the independent teams do well. Williams have a long and storied history with F1, and I'm delighted to see them on the top step of the podium. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Kimi Raikkonen takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship after that excellent result. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? That's got to be the Flying Finn. Wait, how many Flying Finns have we had now? Anyway, I'm talking about Bottas this time. Just great raw speed and a good job in traffic as well. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Another team that excelled today was Williams, who make further progress up the table. That's it for today's Grand Prix. And from Ant and I, it's goodbye and see you again next time. Hi, I've got something you'll be interested in. Those performance upgrades we discussed after the last race. They're on the car and the data looks promising. Take a look at the details. So, another fantastic victory for Williams today. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Oh, here they are now. I always love seeing the independent teams do well. Williams have a long and storied history with F1, and I'm delighted to see them on the top step of the podium. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'm going to go for Marcus Ericsson. He's clearly got a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars and he's matured a lot over the past few seasons, which served him well today. On to the constructors then. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table.
Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment of this Formula One season. So, Ant, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, I'd, I'd say it's just raw pace, plain and simple. I mean, we could sit here and talk about strategy all day, the overtaking, looking after the tyres. But at the end of it all, if you want to win, you need a package that's got the speed over everyone else. And that's exactly what they had today. So, as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley, after another excellent Grand Prix. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Kimi Raikkonen, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Felipe Massa. For me, that was an outstanding performance that drew on every bit of his not unsubstantial experience. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day and peace out.